Hello and welcome to Montevallo Music Machine live from the University of Montevallo. I'm your host Tyson Evans and today we have a special guest, an artist who has very introspective lyrics and very sweet melodies. Without further introduction, John Claybrook. jokes you tell even the ones I already heard and I used to dream of holding you dancing until the sun came up I used to think that we were meant to be I gave you my all gave me none Every day is the same old song Strands on my heart where thin And every new day begins yeah. I spend my 
my nights now are wondering where I went wrong Facing the simple fact that I can't make you fall back In love with me, baby Won't you just fall in love with me I used to think that we would see the world Just you Places we would go if only to stop and stare for hours. And I used to laugh when you crinkled up your nose. Cause something I said didn't go your way. I used to wake every morning next to you. And now that you're gone, don't care to see the day. Every day is the same old song Strands on my heart wear thin When every new day begins, yeah I spend my nights now wondering where I went wrong Facing the simple fact That I can't make you fall back In loving, baby, can't you see it's crazy My life without you, your life me. My head's a mess and I just can't shake it. There's one thing you do, come home to me. Cause every day is the same old song. Strands on my heart where thin. And every new day begin. Yeah. I spend my nights now wondering where I went wrong.
That was John Claybrook with Street Parade. Now, coming up after the break, we will be having an interview with Mr. Claybrook as we talk about his music and other things. Stick around. Montevallo Music Machine will be right back. Montevallo is listed as one of the most beautiful public college campuses, but it has so much more than good looks. It's been named a College of Distinction seven years running. Plus, it offers 75 majors and the chance to belong to more than 90 campus organizations. Visit youbelong at montevallo.com to learn more. Hello, and welcome to Montevallo Music Machine. I'm your host, Tyson Evans, and here today we have Mr. John Claybrook. John, thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So, John, tell us about yourself. Where are you from? Uh, I am from Auburn, Alabama. Okay, and uh, how did you get your start in music? Uh, I started um, I started picking out songs on piano by ear when I was three. Mm -hmm. And from there, my mom put me in piano lessons. I got kicked out of piano lessons because I wanted to play by ear. Mm -hmm. And then from there, it was I did school band um, and then played every opportunity that I could. So. So what was the transition from, because I know today you, uh, you have six songs, but all of them are acoustic. So at what point in your life did you switch from piano to acoustic? I was, this was 2001, I uh, always wanted to learn how to play guitar. I played piano my entire life. I uh, still play piano a good mm -hmm. bit, um, but in 2001 decided I wanted to learn how to play guitar. So I went and bought a guitar and taught myself how to play. Okay, so I've done a little music myself, and I know like when you're reading music and you're playing my ear, those are two different processes. Yes. Um, reading music can be a little bit more strenuous, if you will, mm -hmm. um, versus playing my ear, you kind of feel it, and it's, you get the same results if you're a good musician. So for you playing by ear, um, what has been that process um, for you been like, and how has it been as far as you crafting your own songs? Uh, honestly, I think, um, and for all of my band teachers and piano teachers out there, I'm sorry for what I'm about to say. Uh, but honestly, I think being able to play by ear kind of frees me up musically. Mm -hmm. um, I was actually telling somebody today the story of, I was actually playing a song from The Lion King when I was like eight in piano lessons. She wanted me to play it like it was on the page and I kept telling her, that's not how Elton John wrote it. And so that was the end of piano lessons for me. And then from there, I honestly think it's just a little, I have a, a lot more freedom um, to be able to just, I want to play what sounds good, mm -hmm. not necessarily what would look good on a sheet of music. Mm -hmm. But to me, music's a language. So let's, if we want our language, our words to be beautiful, mm -hmm. if music is also a language, let's, let's just, if it sounds good, let's go for it. Mm -hmm. And obviously, since you're talking about that, you know, like when we're talking about like um, music when you're playing on sheet music and structure and things like that, you get away from the structure when you're doing your own music. So has it ever been challenging for you whenever you're making songs or whenever you're playing stuff just because you are playing by ear? Has that ever brought you any challenge or no? Uh, a, a little bit. Um, I like to play, play games with myself when I'm, when I'm songwriting. Uh, sometimes I, I have a notebook that just has song titles in it. Uh, and I'll, I'll pick a title and make up a story about that title and try to write a song that way. And then sometimes I'll try to put myself actually back in a box and say, I'm going to use three chords mm -hmm. and I'm going to write a song using just these three chords in any order. But um, I think it can be a little challenging, um, but I, I think I try to play around with it enough that it doesn't, uh, it doesn't become a monotonous challenge. It's not consistently there, but it provides a little bit. Okay, and with that, obviously you are your own artist, you're an original artist, um, writing music. When did you make the transition from, okay, I'm playing piano, I'm playing acoustic, now I want to sing, make my own music, release my own records? Uh, that, was, uh, that was, I would say around 99, I graduated high school in 99, and it was about the same time. Uh, a lot of my early stuff came from, uh, a broken heart and I had to get out some some emotions uh, and so early on it was it was a way to kind of help get out some emotions and then as life happens you know you lose people that are close to you um, mm -hmm. you lose loved ones you suffer more heartbreak uh, you have er times of like extreme happiness and joy and so it just became a an easy way for me to get all of that out um, and express it in a way that was uh, a way that was creative, you know, mm -hmm. you could be sad about one certain things, but you know, when you're writing music or writing poetry or anything creative, 
there could be a hundred different ways to talk about that one thing. So it just became a, a different outlet to be able to say uh, kind of what was in here, mm -hmm. but not necessarily just plainly say it, but creatively paint the picture. Mm -hmm. and, and like you were saying, um, I'm pretty much getting at that you're saying it's kind of therapeutic for you. Absolutely. Um, you know, and I can completely relate to that because if I myself, I'll write music or I'll write stories. So when you're able to write, um, it just kind of allows you to get those feelings off, off you know, your mind onto a page and then you yes. can sing them and make your own melodies to them and offer some type of piece. And touching on that, I wanted to talk about one of your songs because you mentioned a lot of your stuff came from Heartbreak early on. So this is from Simple Man. You said, let me take you by your hand. I will be your biggest fan if you let me be your simple man. So what was the inspiration behind this song? Uh, the entire song was uh, when I first set out to be um, a musician and was gonna, gonna kind of walk down that road. Mm -hmm. um, for a long time in that path, there's not a lot of money. Yeah. Um, and so the whole idea behind the song is, uh, you know, I'm, I may not have a lot, but what I can give you, you, you're not gonna be able to buy that anywhere. You won't be able to, that's not something you can lose either. So um, while I may not be able to buy you all the, all the shiny stuff, mm -hmm. um, if you would just give me a chance, I'll show you, even though I, I'm simple and it'll, it'll be a simple life, I can take care of you. Mm. And you had another song lyric that I really listened to. You said, I can't make you fall back in love with me, baby. I used to think that we would see the world. I used to dream of places we would go. Those are some lyrics from your song, same old song. So where did that one come from? Uh, that one, you have broken hearts and then you have shattered hearts. Mm -hmm. uh, and the shattered heart is, uh, everybody feels what they feel and you can't always, you can't make anybody change how they feel on something. Um, and so that was just a time of uh, knowing there was somebody that I truly cared about and uh, it did not, obviously did not end the way I wanted it. Uh, mm -hmm. to go and so the whole the whole thing about it was just kind of reminiscing on my thoughts and what kind of my emotions and what I was dealing with and going through uh, and the thoughts I was having you know while we were together and then you know afterwards is just uh, just trying to paint that picture you know for for other people that maybe can't write music or maybe aren't creative I think music gives them gives them a therapeutic outlet as well so mm -hmm. I know I'm not the only one who's gone through you know, heartbreak. So it, I think it kind of helped tell a story that other people could maybe relate to a little easier. Yeah, I was I was listening on the side and I was like, yeah, I was like, John is, <laughs> I was like, John is speaking some true stuff here. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. And coming up after the break, you have three more songs that you're going to play. Um, before we get into that though, um, just what was the process for you as far as choosing these songs? And um, why was it important for you to sing these songs today that you've chosen? Yeah, I, uh, I, th I think for the most part, I tell people, you know, if I'm going to play through a lot of my songs, you're going to be really depressed at the end of it. Um, so I tried to, you know, a couple of them, I tried to pick a couple that would kind of at least um, lighten the mood a little bit. But for the most part, it was just really kind of what can I, what can I play today and what can I communicate today? I cover a broad, a broad spectrum of uh, life situations, circumstances, emotions, just to kind of paint an all-around picture um, of kind of what I've been through up until this, this point. Mm, okay, sounds good. Well, um, thank you so much uh, for this interview. Um, I can't wait to hear these last three songs. But before we get out of here, um, do you mind telling the people where your social media is so that way they can uh, follow you? Yeah, I'm most active on uh, Twitter. I guess it's X now. Mm -hmm. and uh, Instagram, and the handle is just jcclay24. All right, sounds good. Well, coming right back, we will have Mr. John Claybrook performing his last song, Stick Around. This is the Montebello Music Machine. Your success depends upon effective communication. Visit montevallo.edu forward slash COFA. You create your future in communication studies and mass communication. You belong at Montevallo. Hello and welcome back to the Montevallo Music Machine. We are here today with Mr. John Claybrook and without further introduction, here's his last few songs. Oh, yeah. 
your fears with every scar. Your fingers walking on my skin. There's no stopping you.
keep trying to find a reason There's no way to dull the pain You tell me that you're leaving Begging you to stay You're so hard to walk away from Impossible to keep You turn my world upside down Afraid I've gotten in too deep So don't you leave me Holding this life on my own My heart
Keep searching for ways to burn the day Some way to clear my mind But these hours they seem to roll uphill Hard now to see you out with him. It's more than my heart can bear. But I'll wait here patiently for you. Cause I can't let go of the thought. the cards that I was dealt That's not the way it is Nobody said that life was fair You always want what you can't have my case, that's everything Cause baby, you're everything I want Cause I can't let go Of the thought of Brooke, thank you guys so much for watching Montevallo Music Machine. Please be sure to tune in to all of our social medias at UMSCOM and be sure to tune in all things John Clay Brook at JC Clay 24. I'm your host Tyson Evans and we want to say thank you very much for tuning in. Have a good night.